Hi everyone, today we're going to be reading Asteroids, Comets, and Meteors, Children's Science and Nature. This book is from Lola. Thanks, Lola. All right, let's start. I love the night sky. I gaze into its endless depths. I've always been eager to look for shooting stars or falling stars. Well, that's what my grandma calls them. Normally, the lights in the night are just steadily twinkling up in the blanket of the heavens. But when I see one amazing streak of light flash by, I make a wish. But do you ever wonder what those streaks of light really are? What are they made of? Why do they seem to shine? Those flashes of light are made by chunks of rock and ice that are racing through space. That's pretty amazing, even if they are not actual stars. The chunks come in different names. I remember my science teacher used to enumerate them, asteroids, comets, and meteors. And I asked myself, huh? Um, aren't they all one and the same? I was confused. Blank. Void like space. So now I understand some of the differences and why it's wiser to define and differentiate the many sources of the flashes in the sky. What are asteroids? They're actually leftovers. No, not food. These are leftover materials from the formation of the solar system. Asteroids are like large rocks in outer space. Some are quite large in size, like a truck or a house. Others are small, like grains of sand. They actually reflect sunlight. And when they pass close to the Earth and touch the outer edge of our atmosphere, friction heats them very quickly and they glow brighter, glow brightly as they burn up. On to the next, we have comets. So asteroids are the leftovers in the sky. What are comets, really? Comets are the brightest objects that pass close to the Earth. These rare objects of the night sky have tails. Yes, you read it right. Comet tails. But how? I wonder. Comets are actually made of dust and ice, like a snowball you make in winter, but much bigger and much older. The point of the comet's tail depends on where the sun's heat and radiation is. As a comet gets closer to the sun, the solar wind will blow away some of the melted gas and dust off of the comet. And dust off the comet. Comet. I'm going to read that sentence again. As a comet gets closer to the sun, the solar wind will blow away some of the melted gas and dust off the comet. And so there appears to be a tail on the side of the comet facing away from the sun. Last, we have meteors. These are baby versions of asteroids. They're small rocks or debris particles. These, they, these burn up as they pass through the Earth's atmosphere. They glow brightly in the sky as they fall here from outer space. Such an awesome sight. Think of all three. Now you know that while you might sometimes see a piece of a meteor, a meteorite, you will probably never see a piece of a comet. However, varied they may seem, up above the skies they're simply beautiful. And since the legend has had it, 
that wishing upon a shooting star makes the wish come true. Regardless of which one you see tonight, just make a wish. The end. So this book is called Asteroids, Comets, and Meteors. And we got to learn all about pieces that are in space. I hope you enjoyed it.